Cheltenham High School boosts an incredible microbiology program. Students are afforded the opportunity to learn about bacteria in a hands-on laboratory setting. We were given the opportunity to sit on one of Miss Sheridan's microbiology classes to see exactly what they were up to. Well, the um, PEAR project was basically a lab where we're looking to determine whether there are antibiotic resistant bacteria in our environment in soil samples. PEAR basically is, you know, prevalence of antibiotic resistant bacteria in the environment. And then we take that into the microbiology lab and we take a sample of the soil and dilute it into a broth. So a broth looks something like this. Um, and usually soil contains natural bacteria all the time anyway and not all that bacteria is bad. So um, the, what we did, instead of just using any uh, general media which lots of bacteria and fungi would grow on, we used a selective and differential media that would only allow us to grow um, gram-negative bacteria, which is a certain group of bacteria. Um, because the soil has so many bacteria in it, we had to dilute it out. So all the students, what they did is they had a series of test tubes, and they took those and they used, they had um, nine milliliters of this broth in there, and they added one gram of soil, and they continued to do a dilution from that first tube into the next tube, making it 10 times um, a 10 times dilution, and they did that for several tubes. Um, one of the other fun things that people like to use is a vortex. Um, so the samples have to be mixed well so that it's, all the bacteria is evenly distributed throughout the tube. So after the bacteria is put into the tube, it is put on the vortex, and basically that mixes it like an automatic mixer because our tubes do not have screw tops on them. Um, we can't just turn them up and down and that way they get mixed properly. After that, um, a measured amount of bacteria in the solution is taken and put on each plate and then that sample is spread with what we call a cell spreader over the plate and they're put in the incubator to incubate for um, 24 hours and then 48 hours, and we check them across two days. And then the colonies, which represent 10,000 bacteria, each colony is counted. And we also observe like different kinds of bacteria on here because only the gram negatives will grow, but different gram negative bacteria appear different on this type of agar, so you get to see some differences. With the AP environmental, um, because the soil part and the resistance of bacteria in the soil is a problem environmentally. Um, Mr. Wolf took that part of it and presented the same things that I presented to my class um, in terms of you know, why antibiotic resistant bacteria are a problem and how they might be getting into the soil. And basically, some of these bacteria that we have now, superbugs, um, have evolved over time to be resistant to most of the drugs that we have on, currently on the market available to treat patients. An actual research scientist, which um, Dr. Carol Bascom Slack is, um, she started out, this project started at Yale University, and you know she's now transferred to Tufts University. So this is an actual product, project that's going on in her lab at the university level. Well, I just think this is a great opportunity for the students because they get to be part of a research project that is actually done by college students. Uh, we got to do this project here, uh, the entire project, um, because we have a microbiology class here and the students here know how to work with bacteria. Um, and basically the class that's offered here is almost the same as the class you would get at, uh, if you were in allied health and taking a first year microbiology course. The PEAR program is usually run at the collegiate level and we are so fortunate here at Cheltenham High School to have the ability to run this advanced lab exercise. This cross-curricular activity utilized the talents of our microbiology, AP environmental, and AP statistics students and the teachers. When the testing results came back, our microbiology students gave them to the statistics students who analyzed the data and determined the final results. Ms. Sheridan is excited to share these results and the students' experience with her colleagues to show that the high-level learning like this can occur at the high school level.